All right, so let's take a few minutes and talk about fetal heart tracings and or, or fetal heart rates. And I think it's important to, you know, before you sort of go and tackle anything like this, to know why you're doing it. So what's the point? Why do we look at fetal heart rates and fetal heart tracings? Why do we look at strips um, when mom comes into labor? And we're really looking at it for one reason. That is to determine the fetal oxygen status. And that fetal oxygen status is important because, you know, this fetal heart tracing is the only thing that gives us an idea of, you know, how baby's doing um, in terms of uh, its, its metabolic state. You know, is the baby a little acidotic or are things generally okay um, with how the labor is, is progressing? So that is why we look at fetal heart tracings. The next thing I think it's important to do is to give ourselves a scaffold for reading these tracings. They can be complicated, they can be unwieldy, and they're sort of like um, EKGs in that it's good to do it the same every single time. So I just use a series of letters that I got from a book, C, V, B, A, D. You know, I don't have, and then it, there's a C at the end, I don't have a, uh, a mnemonic for these. If you want one, feel free. I'm not a big fan of mnemonics, so um, I just didn't do it, but it stands for contractions, and obviously we're talking about maternal contractions, variability, baseline, accelerations, decelerations, and change. And we're talking about change over time. Okay, so we're going to talk about each of these things individually and then we're going to talk about how you take all that information and put it into you know a really nice statement that you can either write in your note or sum up uh, to your attending something like the uterine contractions were every three minutes there was moderate variability on a baseline fetal heart rate of 145 minutes with spontaneous accelerations um, every five minutes no decelerations this tracing is unchanged and reassuring. So we cover all those in just a really short amount of time. And honestly, in your note, you can oftentimes just list these things as I have them here. And then um, out in your note, just write down what you found. So we say no change if we wanted to do uh, every three minutes. Um, you know, variability is, we'll say, moderate. Baseline is 145, excels every two minutes, and no D cells. So that, you know, it is sloppy, but it, it qualifies as a good note. Um, and it's really only sloppy because my handwriting is sloppy. Um, other than that, it covers everything you need to make up a good fetal heart tracing. So let's move forward. And in the next lecture uh, in this series, we'll talk about contractions and what defines a contraction. Um, so let's move on.